Hey there, fellow curious minds. Get ready to unravel the dark secrets of history as we dive deep into the Salem witch trials. You won't believe the shocking truths we're about to uncover. Stick around for the whole ride. Dear viewers, I'm Linda. Today I've got a captivating tale for you that will transport us back in time to the dark and mysterious era of the Salem Witch Trials. Brace yourselves as we dive deep into the untold secrets behind the witchcraft hysteria that gripped this small town in colonial Massachusetts. Prepare for a mind-bending journey that will challenge your preconceptions and shed light on the truth hidden beneath the veil of superstition. Let's unravel the mysteries together, shall we? How to understand the Salem witch trials, we must first immerse ourselves in the historical context of the time. Picture this. It's the late 17th century, a period when the air was thick with religious fervor and superstitions ran rampant. The Puritans had settled in the New World, seeking religious freedom and a chance to build a righteous society. In this tightly knit community, fear and suspicion simmered beneath the surface. But the belief in witchcraft and the devil's influence held a firm grip on people's minds. It was a time when the unknown was met with trepidation, and any deviation from the norms of society was deemed a potential threat. But what caused this sudden surge in witchcraft accusations and the ensuing hysteria? Well, my friends, it was a perfect storm of various factors. Picture a cauldron bubbling with rumors, personal grievances, and societal tensions all set to the backdrop of religious fervor. As the pressure cooker of these circumstances reached its boiling point, the Salem witch trials erupted like a fiery tempest. Notable events leading up to the trials were like stepping stones on a path to madness. It all started with a group of young girls, seemingly possessed by unseen forces, exhibiting strange behaviors and accusing others of witchcraft. The whispers of witchery spread like wildfire, consuming the minds of the people and fueling the growing paranoia. Now, my dear viewers, let's cast aside the cobwebs of misconception and seek the truth behind the veil of hysteria. In those times, the concept of witchcraft was deeply ingrained in society's psyche, often associated with dark rituals, pacts with the devil, and malevolent powers. But what if I told you that the reality was far from these fantastical tales? Historical evidence and accounts challenge the prevailing narratives about witches and witchcraft. Records reveal that many of those accused of witchcraft were simply ordinary men and women often on the fringes of society. They were healers, midwives, and independent thinkers who fell victim to suspicion. Religious beliefs played a significant role in fueling the accusations. The Puritans held a strict interpretation of Christianity, viewing any deviation as a threat to their way of life. The fear of the devil's influence and the belief in a cosmic battle between good and evil cast a dark shadow over the community, making it easier to label individuals as witches. But let's not forget the human element in this tale of madness. Personal rivalries and grudges played a significant role in fanning the flames of accusation. Jealousy, revenge, and land disputes became fertile ground for the seeds of witchcraft accusations to take root. Innocent lives were destroyed by the power of hearsay and personal vendettas. The Salem witch trials left an indelible mark on the American legal system. 
These trials were a glaring example of how fear and paranoia can cloud judgment and lead to gross miscarriages of justice. The court procedures during the trials were riddled with irregularities, lack of evidence, and rampant accusations. The legal system was turned upside down as innocent people were accused and executed based on spectral evidence and hearsay. This dark chapter in history served as a wake-up call for the legal system, prompting significant reforms. The concept of innocent until proven guilty gained prominence as a result. The burden of proof was shifted from the accused to the accuser, ensuring that concrete evidence had to be presented before condemning someone. The Salem Witch Trials showed us the importance of due process, the need for fair trials, and the dangers of allowing fear and hysteria to guide legal proceedings. Throughout this video, we've delved into the untold secrets of the Salem Witch Trials. We've peeled back the layers of history and challenged the prevailing narrative surrounding this infamous chapter. By shedding light on the truth, we aim to honor the memories of those who suffered unjustly and provide a more nuanced understanding of this dark period. Now it's your turn, my dear viewers. I encourage you to reflect on the lessons learned from the Salem Witch Trials and apply them to your own lives. Embrace critical thinking, seek justice, and foster tolerance. Speak up against injustice and be a beacon of reason in a world sometimes clouded by fear and ignorance. If you've enjoyed this journey through history and want to continue exploring such intriguing topics, want to delve into the dark secrets of the Salem Witch Trials. Click that link in the description and comment box to grab your copy of the Salem Witch Trials day by day on Amazon. Don't miss out, be bewitching. I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. Share your thoughts and opinions on the Salem Witch Trials in the comments section below. Let's keep the conversation going and learn from the past to shape a better... Until next time, stay curious, stay open-minded, and keep unmasking the mysteries of our world